Now, I know most of you guys are turning to FIFA 23. My focus is fully on it. Definitely no clue to which team I'm going to be using in the starting save. As we're here with Chelsea today, let's have a look how it can go. We've got three semi-finals. You'll be thinking, three? Huh? How? I'll explain right now. As welcome back, people, to episode number 12 of season number one and only, I should say, all the time of this Chelsea career mode here at the end of Thief 22. We'll make no more signings on this um, save. We will only try and win two more trophies. And if you're excited for the end of this save, we've got literally this episode and one after this, which hopefully will have finales in it. If not, this will be the final episode. We'll set up straight away our stall for FIFA 23. As if you are enjoying it, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, we're trying to hit as much as possible before the new game. We're almost at 7.4. Probably won't happen before Tuesday when the game comes out. My birthday. Absolutely love that them two go together as here we are today. Hopefully you guys are feeling very, very good about yourselves today. And I hope you're doing well. As if you haven't seen the previous episode, there's big spoilers on screen. Definitely them UCL games, big spoilers, because they were very, very interesting. As today, we have Burnley in the Cup on the 23rd in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. They're in the Championship, don't forget, so it will be a difficult game. They've got a Premier League team, because of course I had to switch them around this year. As then we have AC, no, not AC Milan, Inter Milan at home at Stamford Bridge in the first semi-final of the Champions League then we move on to Everton away we have the second semi-final and I think I'll be simulating all the league games I do I think it's gone that is two derbies the Frank Lampard derby in Everton and Manchester United and Wolves is in there as well but I do think I will be simulating them as we're going to dive straight into all the semi-finals I want trophies I want them. Extremely desperate for the silverware, as I think I'm going to be putting the best team out possible for this one. But also, I've got to consider um, what I'm putting out, because I do want to win trophies, but then I do want to keep winning in the Premier League. I don't just want to, like, bottle top four or anything, because it isn't confirmed at all. As I think I'm going to go with this one, I see myself playing Mount in the Champions League. So I'm going to put Havertz in for now, and we're going to go with Edouard Mendy in goal, Reese James, Koulibaly, I'm going to actually put Thiago Silva in over Zakaria, sorry mate, with Aspilicueta and Chilwell, N'Golo, Kovacic and Kai Havertz at the top of that triangle with Williams and Raheem Sterling in the centre, or up front on the left should I say, with a bit of fatigue, I'm not too worried, Wembley Stadium awaits, Championship Burnley, Premier League Chelsea, doesn't mean nada. Let's get the job done. And I cannot lie, at the start of this game, judging by Wembley Stadium, of course, Liverpool had the home dressing room last time. Burnley have got it this time. And they look as if they've got so many more fans. You can see behind me, there's the Chelsea end. So, yes, we do have a lot of selves. But Burnley have brought a bunch. As let's see what type of team they're playing. Nick Pope, Connor Roberts, Nathan Collins, Tarkowski and Charlie Taylor. You can see the transfers haven't gone through. Dwight McNeil, Dale Stevens, Josh Brownhill and Maxim Cornet with Barnes and Vout Veghorst leading the line. Very, very solid team as Thiago Silva. Look at that splitting pass through the middle. onto Mateo Kovacic as Rhys James to run forward here. He's got Anyaki in front of him but opts for the Croatian. That's on to Kante. Raheem Sterling. Sterling's going to give it to the side of him into Kai Havertz. Look at Anyaki. Steps away a little bit. Fires it. Oh, I thought that were in. Side netting. Got a bit of a reaction from the Burnley fans. Did that shot as Aspilicueta to keep hold of it. On to Kai Havertz. Anyaki Williams trying to step away a little bit into Kovacic. Now into N'Golo Kante. That's a splitting pass through the middle. Raheem Sterling with space to shoot. And what a goal! Raheem Sterling! 1-0, 11 minutes it's took our number 11 to score an absolute rocket at the capital. What a finish that is. Turns, has the space, men just peeling off of him and puts it top echelons. 1-0 Chels. What a goal as Maxim Corne with the throw in into Charlie Taylor. Corne gets this back and it's actually a good move around us right there into Josh Brownhill. Josh Brownell's looking for a little bit of an option. Dale Stevens is on the edge. Burnley not giving up. Ashley Barnes! 
peeled off and Mendy had to make a save. Burnley, like I said, they are never going to go out with a flight. It's a semi-final. Nothing matters about the teams. It's just about who performs on the day. As N'Golo Kante trying to step away. Nathan Collins, not a great challenge. Not as bad, of course, as the um, tackle on Jack Grealish for Wolves the other day. As N'Golo Kante dribbling forward. He could probably crack one, but he gives it into Kovacic. will work this well. And Yaki out wide. Reese James just strikes Taylor. As Val Veghorst on it here. He's going to try and turn in the centre of the park. Dale Stevens. Didn't get close enough, and Dale Stevens is around us again. He is the man taking these shots on at the moment for Burnley. And soon enough, one will end up in the back of the net if we don't improve. Give them another corner, Dwight McNeil. We've got men who can punish us in that box, as it's another corner off Collins, I think that was. Very tall presence, as we need to get this away. Of course, they've got Val Veghorst as well, as it goes straight into Kovacic, who's going to try and run this away. He's done brilliantly as the Croatian to get away from him. He's going to keep on going now, pull it back, passes into Anyaki. Anyaki, I'm going to try and go to the other side as well, that's a ball over the top, into Kai Havertz, lets it go on to Reese James, man in the middle, Anyaki, brilliant touch, saved by Pope, came very, very close as Brownhill through that middle, and Barnes has put it wide, very close, and it'll be Burnley taking the lead, if anyone as N'Golo Kante is injured, that requires Conor Gallagher, to come onto the field. We're missing a big player right now. So that is not a great move for us. But it's one that's happened. And I'm really hoping that isn't going to be bad for the Champions League game. As it is all Burnley at the moment. I can't lie. McNeil onto Veg Horse. That's into Dwight McNeil again. Of course working with Lampard at the moment. As McNeil finds Barnes. It is all square. Just before half time here at Wembley. Ashley Barnes fires it bottom corner. To get the Clarets instantly equal, well, not instantly, but in the first half, they have pulled a leveller out of, well, I wouldn't even say the blue. They've been all over us. We are struggling. And we've lost N'Golo Kante for the second half. We've lost the lead from Sterling Screamer to Barnes' equaliser. We've got to work harder. And Kovacic, Mateo Kovacic on the ball right here as he's going to get the pass straight into... Reese James and Yaki Williams. Kai Havertz. Right. Are we waking up in this second half? Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. As Conor Gallagher picks up on a loose ball. And Yaki Williams is going to try him a look from range. Oh. Raheem. You've been outdone. And Yaki Williams has scored an absolute blinder. We're in front again. I'm going to try not get my hopes up. But it was a... A dodgy pass from, I think it was Roberts at the back. And what a goal that is from Anyaki. Absolutely no keeper on planet Earth. Even one of the tallest in Nick Pope. Not clutching that away. The curl, the dip, Anyaki Williams. Strike worthy of winning the competition. Never mind the semi final. I think that one. It's like Matic's against uh, Tottenham's a couple of years back. As can Kovacic join in? He tries. Very unlucky as Corne. To run down this side into Barnes. Barnes back out to Corne. Still chip that over the top. Unlucky not to get there. Corne with it again. That's into the middle. Brownhill. That's around the corner into Veghorst. And Mendy had to save that on the angle. Thiago Silva had it covered in the middle. But it was down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And our keepers come up trumps. But still not comfortable in this final. Gallagher heads that away. He needs to try and get on the ball again. Can he do so? He does. Brilliant work and passes it straight into the middle of the park. Raheem Sterling now through the little gap onto Mateo Kovacic. What a ball that is from the Englishman and what a save. I'm bringing on one of my favourites, Daniel Pedence. Any moment now as Koulibaly, that's a terrible pass. And I'm pretty sure I just got a glimpse of Kovacic being injured, which will have to be changed as Barnes running at us. Asper Laqueta, brilliant tackle from the captain as yes, he's injured. I'm going to try and get Denis Zakaria on, I think. It was cover for centre-back, but he'll have to go in the middle of the park. Not a great injury. Both of us midfielders. As Nyaki Williams finds a good ball. Havertz finds an equally as good one as Sterling. Hopefully kills the competition off anyway. Ten minutes to go. It is 3-1. Good job it's not a long travel here to the Wembley. In London, of course, because we want to be coming again and should be, I think. Very, very shortly. And a bad tackle late on in this game from the midfielder, who I think's got himself sent off. Josh Brownhill. He's had a good game as well, him. That is 
I won't say harsh, he's deserved that. Coming through the back of Inyaki, that's frustration coming out because they were well and truly in this game. They got themselves back in it, of course. But ultimately, he's off. He's off and won't be playing the FA Cup next year. It's stupid because maybe they stood a little bit of a chance still, but not really now. Into the last minute of added time. The referee's going to let the play go on. That's a bad tackle, actually. Not a great challenge at all. And he's gone into the Booker's bench. Well, not great. Hopefully not suspended for the final. As Corne to whip it in. Sterling with the header away. Whack that pedence. As there's the whistle. Through to the FA Cup final. There will be a final episode after this one. One last dance with FIFA 22 after here. And hopefully there's a Champions League one to go with it. Full-time score, 3-1. As we will be facing off against old manager Frank. Everton have beaten Leeds United 2-0 in the other leg, which was played before our game. So interesting to see that one as Madison's working on himself in training. Only one injury message. And it's N'Golo, three months, broken toe. Without N'Golo going into the Champions League and everything, that is harsh. Especially when we've only got two days turnaround and a lot of tired players for it. But we're going to go in with it. Similar team, we are still in London, we haven't travelled, so I'm hoping there's no jet lag or anything in the boys. One change, or no, two changes because we're forced into two. Mount and Zakaria over Conor Gallagher. It's harsh, I know. But I do want to go with a more defensive-minded midfielder alongside a balanced one. That's the kind of gist that I'm going for. So how can we do? We're going to be playing this one straight into the next game against Inter Champions League semi-finals. Let's have a look at the Inter lineup. Sami Handanovic is still in goal. I mean, it hasn't even been a season, to be fair, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Conrad Leimer on the bench. Gerson's. Skriniar, Quates and Bastoni in the defence with Dumfries, Perisic, Chanaloglu and Didi and Barilla in the midfield with Martinez and Romelu Lukaku. Isn't he on loan in real life? Shouldn't really be able to play against us, but hey-ho, hand that we dealt. We're just going to have to go with it as Denis Sakaria will hoof that ball straight over the top into Ben Chilwell and let's get up and running. Sterling, not up and running. Not really a great pass there, was it, as Lukaku... With a sharp turn, the physicality. I'm glad I've got Zakaria on now to hopefully deal with him a little bit. Chanaloglu went to spread that one more. Not a great challenge from them. As we're going to keep on running. Mateo Kovacic is still going. Finds Nyaki Williams up front here. Who's going to cut back and get tackled. And stay down, clutching his knee. Not very good. And Nyaki Williams missing as Chilwell to put a ball in towards Sterling. Hasn't landed. But I am not liking that injury at all. And Yaki Williams is down. And they are playing on. But without his main striker, going into at least one final is not good. As there's the whistle. There's the whistle. It's crucially done. That's going to be ages. That's at least going to be out till the save is over. And I'm going to have to go with Kai Havertz up front. Pedence really hasn't took to the position as well as I hoped he would have done. Kai Havertz still continuing to put everything into this one. As that's a ball through. And mend it with an... Easy save, really, as he's going to roll it straight into Kovacic. Kovacic should just dink it through that middle onto Mason Mount. Kai Havertz. Easy ball into Reese James, who's going to get running down this wing. And Reese James needs to whip a decent ball in here. It is decent. The Skriniar easily deals with it. Half an hour in. Nothing happening in this game at all. But can Kovacic light it up? He tries to. And Kai Havertz with the turn on the ball straight away in the middle. Chill well now. To try and run it a bit down this wing. But he's going to have to come back. Because he's got no options in the middle. It's going to be hard without an out and out striker now. As Kovacic on a turn again. And he's hammered it over the top. How can I forget? Into one of his ex-teams of course. As Mason Mount. On a swivel in the middle. On to Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz sees the ball right there. Into Reese James. As Sterling's at the back post. That's a better ball. What a save Handanovic. That would have been a brilliant time to score just before half time. But the keeper equal to it. As Raheem Sterling to dip this in towards Koulibaly, falling towards Havertz. And Didi throwing everything at that. Silver with the header. Koulibaly tries to turn out Mason Mount. Good save, Handanovic again. Come on. Before half time would be really, really nice as that's took away by Coates. Falls to Dave on the chest, on the volley. Was on target. But not in the back of the net after, a, I've got to say, a relatively boring first half. It stays a stalemate. We're very unlucky so far as Martinez. That's a good dribble and Lukaku. 
At the start of the second half, Romelu Lukaku with a bit of a chance. Mason Mount to get us out of a bit of danger. They were around his box for a little bit. That's chill well now. Dribbling it into Zakaria, dropping off. Mason Mount, it's a brilliant turn in the middle. Kai Havertz looking to get it over the top of the defender into James. Very good ball. Kovacic, look at Sterling. Mount's found him! And Raheem Sterling... Hang your head in shame. That is a horrendous miss. Sorry, Raheem. We really couldn't afford that. As still in on a turn into Kai Havertz. Havertz will put it over the top into that area. On to Reese James. That's a good ball towards Stillen. He's playing very well. He's the right wing back who's tired. As Kovacic had an open net. It's bounced off Mount. That's the biggest chance. And into the last 15 minutes. We're trying to get changes to go through. As Kovacic into Kai Havertz. That's a pass that's come off for Sterling. Now on to Mason Mount. He's got space to run at Coates, the captain, and he could get past him. Can he find Kai Havertz with a cross? That's come off, Coates. And almost in the back of the net, but a corner ball. We could really do with a lead going into the second leg at the San Siro. As that head has not won, it'll fall to Kula Bali. As now Pedence on the edge, he's come on. Not a great shot. Coates has got himself injured as Lautaro into Lima. Coming across Perisic. Just need to make sure he doesn't make a wrong move as he's got past Reese James. Not great. Kukurea's come on, giving Chilwell a little bit of a rest in this first leg as we'll roll that straight out into Kovacic. Turn and face into Zakaria. Now onto Havertz. Have we got time to steal this late on? Not a great ball. And of course, the Tottenham man in real life with the interception onto Martinez. Lukaku. Players in front of him still. We've got to be careful. They're in our half. Kukurea, you've got to mark your man. Dumfries around. And Berea off the crossbar. What are we doing defensively? We've given away a penalty in the 90th minute after it stupidly bouncing off Zakaria onto Koulibaly. And that's purely down to communication. That is horrendous defending between the two of you. Not good. Not good. They missed their chance and now they're getting another one. It's Lukaku who should be on loan from us. We're going to dive to the right like we usually do, but it's in the back of the net. And he's celebrating like mad in front of the Chelsea faithful. 1-0 down going into the second leg. Don't respect the celebrations. Got to work harder. Milan have done it. They've got themselves the penalty. I mean, they don't deserve it. It should have been a draw, to be fair. As that is an accurate penalty from Rom. And the game ends with Inter in front going into the second leg. Boos around the stadium. I think that's a bit harsh. Still got to go to Italy. It will be a tough test. We'll do it today. I think the boos are very harsh. As it is what I expected. And Yaki Williams, ACL, seven months. Write him out of this save complete list. And I hate to do it, but it's a player I really wanted to see till the end. But it won't happen as we are. A game in hand and six points above... Oh, not six. Nine points above Manchester City. So I do think we will be in the Champions League next season, which is a very good feeling, but still, we've got to carry on. As I'm going to be changing the team up for these games, you can see you might class it as weaker, but it's just what we're going to go with. Everton, who we will play in the final next episode. It's a test to hear against them now, and it's a 3-1 win, which is very nice. Zakaria, Pedence came on at half-time, got a goal. Grey for them, and Madison to round it up. Very nice to get it over the line as we're back in the Champions League on a Wednesday. McEachran, stop talking about your contract. I will not be manager next season. You can bring it up with him as we've got to get this team right again. And I think I'll just make the changes that I made last time and reverse them. I think that's it, keeping them a little bit fitter. That is the team. We've got to overcome a deficit now with Kante and Yaki and Aubameyang out. It's going to be difficult. Pedence still on the bench despite his hard work as that's the team. Kai Havertz and Sterling up front from the off. Chelsea against Inter, away from home. What's it going to be? And Inter's team, have they changed it? Lima, I can see Lima in that lineup for Chanaloglu. More defensive-minded. Can you blame them? Not really. Handanovic, Gruniak, Quartas, Bastoni, Dumfries, Burla, and Didi, Lima, Perisic, Martinez, Romelu. Can't bring myself to say that second name after the betrayal. The celebration as well. Oh, that just... Leaves a sour taste in the mouth, but we've got to get going, up and running, as that's not a great tackle, and Kovacic is down again, straight 
two minutes into the game and they've injured one of our players and they're still coming forward. Perisic into Romelu Lukaku, drops it off to Conrad Lima, tries to find a ball through but unfortunate for him, just couldn't do so as Denis Zakaria to run it away. Kovacic is on his feet which is a good sign. There's a tackle coming there. We're going to take a risk and see if he can play through it as Sterling into Mount. That's a cross into Kai Havertz who steps away a little bit. Over the top into Reese James. Let's try the byline cross for once. That's a good dinked in one. I think it was um, Ndidi in the middle holding Mount off. How very unfortunate. Zakaria into Kovacic. Yes, he's got that plaster sign but we're still going with him for now. Mount can try and find Sterling through the middle. Handanovic with a save. He got it on target this time. But couldn't convert it goal bound as we're going to put Conor Gallagher on now for Kovacic. A big moment for a Chelsea prospect as that's a good ball in. Havertz can't get there. Mount tries to keep it alive. It'll fall to Denis Zakaria who does win it. But just goes away from him still onto Koulibaly. Through onto Raheem Sterling. Passes into Conor Gallagher. Can't get it through. Trying everything in his power as Havertz. To dribble with the ball a little bit here. That's through the middle onto Mount. That's onto Sterling. Raheem Sterling onto Mount again. Mount over the top. That's into James. That's a very decent ball. And it somehow timed finished it. But I do not care. Because Kai Havertz has his level at the San Siro. An early goal that we needed from the man who won us the Champions League a few years back. It's a good touch on there and just dinks it over Handanovic who goes to ground very, very early. It's all square now in the semi-finals. Just have to keep on going now and make sure they don't get another goal back straight away as they might do. They're on an attack. Lautaro, that's a good ball past Chilwell and Dumfries slides it wide. Completely beaten Ben Chilwell as Gallagher, that is a terrible pass. Need to try and win the header, but we don't. Straight into Wilf and Didi. Now on to Berea. Try to put it through. Lataro Scores. 1-1 one, one on the night. 2-1 down now on aggregate. Not the goal we needed to concede. He's a phenomenal player, and that is a phenomenal goal. It's just a pass through. Tried to get the touch, and it didn't. And bang. 1-1. One, one. More goals in it than the last one now, and not going too great for us. We smashed Liverpool in the quarterfinals, but just cannot find a way here against Inter Milan. We did, with a lucky chance. I'm going to admit it was very lucky. And they instantly reply as Martinez over to Perisic. Ivan trying to put it down the line, but Reese James reading that one. Still, they've got the presser on us. And so much pressure, I can't even say the word right, as Perisic. That's a free kick to us. Handball from the Croatian, Reese James. Wish we still had our Croatian on the field, but we don't. It was a good ball that, but the halftime whistle's gone. Big 45 minutes at the moment. We're crashing out of the Champions League at the semi-final stage, which we don't want to do. No chance for a whipped in ball here at the start of this second half. Conrad Lima dinking one in. Skriniar lining up behind it. They're not sitting back on this result. Although they've got the defensive midfielders on the field, they're definitely not sitting back as Aspilicueta with that header away. Straight on to Kai Havertz, who's got a good turn in there and a good injection of pace. On to Sterling, who's got a lot to do in this game, but so far, not really done it. I mean, Kai Havertz has only just done it as Chilwell down the line is going to whip in a ball towards Sterling. Just a bit behind him. Time is ticking on as Havertz now into Mason Mount. Mason Mount down the line to Chilwell. That's a decent ball in, but still not getting on the end of it as Handanovic had a catch right there to make and did make it. As he's rolled it out into Coates, going to just try and put this pressure on. We need a goal. Throwing Pedence and Madison on now. I've decided they are the changes I'm going to make. Raheem's coming off. Yes, he's a great player, but he hasn't had a good game. And uh, Denis Zakaria, we're going more attacking, of course. So take the defensive-minded one off as Mount around the corner into Gallagher. Connor Gallagher going very, very slowly. He'll pass that back into Mount. That's on to Sterling. That's on to Kai Havertz. He has missed it. Can you believe it? Still keep this alive, please, boys. On to Mount with the header. Now Conor Gallagher again. Mason Mount in a bit of space to get his shot off. Skriniar closing him down. Mount again. And a very, very good save from that goalkeeper. He is playing phenomenally well. As we'll whip this in towards the danger area. Havertz. Skriniar diving at that as now it drops to Pedence. Once a 1-2. Daniel Pedence! What a goal! He's come off the bench and he does what I wanted him to do. 
Get in, Pedence. That is a brilliant goal. Just fell to him on the edge of the box. A 1-2. And a smart finish. In the final five minutes, as we're pushing to try and get this game wrapped up. I don't want extra time. We've got plenty of games to simulate still. As James over the top into Kai Havertz. Onto Connor Gallagher. It's Madison on the edge of the box. Now into Gallagher again. Running through. A pass towards Pedence. Didn't reach him. Fired away from Handanovic. Please that win that head of Koulibaly. He doesn't. Heading Dzeko. But we've got a free kick somehow. That could be a controversial one if something works from this. But Thiago Silva doing everything in his power to mess up that pass. As the whistle's going to get blown any moment, isn't it? We're going to go to extra time. We do. Extra time in the semi-finals of the Champions League. And Gal Giardini through the middle onto Edin Dzeko right here. Trying to sneak through a little bit as Gal Giardini. I don't know how you say that name, but we're going to get going in this extra time. I want to avoid penalties, I can't lie. You guys probably want to see that for a place in the Champions League final. As now Madison passed down the line. Pedence, this is really good football. Chill well. Madison, not Havertz. Havertz, yes it is Havertz. And he scored. It's a brilliant header. I was so confused who that was in the box. I realised Havertz was up front. And he has put us in the lead in the Champions League semi-final. Not final. In extra time away in Italy. Scenes. What a header that is. If it could have only come a little bit earlier in normal time. Brilliant whipped in ball. Brilliant header. Very nicely done as Madison dribbling with the ball. It's into Mason Mount. Mason Mount with a chip over the top. Straight into Reese James. Now on to Mason Mount again. Mount looking for a bit of a shot or an angle or something as it's now into Gallagher. Gallagher into Mount. Madison still trying to keep hold of this ball right here as there's not long to go. Reese James first time ball in. Unfortunately, doesn't really work out there. Tried to win that header and not done so. We go into the second half. As I'm really not trying to say anything or jinx anything. As I always kind of had faith Jekka would miss that. It was a very slim angle. If that would have gone in, all eyes on Mendy. As Gallagher trying to put a ball over the top into Madison. Of course, we've got us attacking players on the field. Can't help that. We gambled. And it has paid off, it seems, as Pedence trying to keep hold of that. Just unfortunately can't do it. Now we're chasing the ball a bit. Quartes, get running boys, as Inter really running out of time right here, heading Dzeko forward, over the top, Martinez is going to get to that one, no Lukaku to aim for in the box, hits Aspilicueta twice, handball, but still they go on, Dumfries lifts it high into the box, and Mendy with a solid catch, and game is won, Chelsea 3, into 1, what a comeback at the San Siro, we have done it, Champions League final awaits. We're going to two finals. Can we do the triple? And you might have had a guess who we could be facing in the final. I tell you, you're wrong. We play AC Milan, who have beaten Bayern Munich three goals to two on aggregate, just like we beat their rivals. What a result for them and us. Facing both Milans on the build-up to the monumental occasion of lifting that trophy. I am being very, very optimistic as I'm not about that. Mateo Kovacic, three months out. That is not great as... Oh, the FA Cup's there. The FA Cup's earlier on. Oh, it's probably cost of the Champions League. So I think we'll simulate these two. I think we'll play both finals in the next episode. I'm not too fussed about playing Man United as well. I feel like we could just get it over and done with all tomorrow with just the two finals FIFA 23 around the corner the hype's all on that I don't want it to seem like I'm rushing this save I do want to get them finals played and won I've put a lot of effort into winning in them last two games or <coughs> should I say three bit of a cough right there excuse me as we're gonna go with a normal enough lineup just one change really which is Gallagher so the same team that's just done it um, in Italy, Havertz has gone up a rating from that beautiful first goal. As how's it going to be against Wolves? 2-2. Two, two. Okay, Havertz with a goal. Cody and Johnny. And then Pedent against his former club. They only had 10 men, however, so a bit disappointing that we didn't pounce on that. We could have pounced on Spurs if we did win that. As the league has gone to Liverpool, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunate not to get the Prem along with it, but can't win them all. We play fourth place West Ham just in front of when we play in the cup. So it is a bit of a risk, but I am going to change this team up completely because FA Cup, 
big occasion for us as I didn't put Kepa in the net for the FA Cup. I don't think I'll be putting him in the net for this one as well. I'm sorry, I just don't see the point really. Kilman and Fafana uh, will put Pedence definitely up front for Havertz. No, up front for Sterling because he's usually the one who gets tired early on. So we'll go with this into the simulation West Ham. What's it going to be? A 3-2 defeat, you know. Suchek, Loftus-Cheek, Grado, Kukurea, both wing-backs. But Fernals to sinkers. Guess that's what too many changes gets you. As we'll check the Premier League and then we'll end it out there, I think. Because I don't want to bottle top four. I really don't, even though we're not playing for anything next season. As we haven't, really. Two points. I think, yeah, we're guaranteed top four now. Manchester City can't catch us. West Ham possibly could, but still would be in the top four. Third or fourth, doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. As Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. We've done the job that we wanted to do at the start of this episode, winning the semi-finals to get to two finals tomorrow. So hope you guys are all excited about that. Hopefully you decide to like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well so you don't miss FIFA 23 content and the finale tomorrow. Let's take care of yourselves, guys, in a bit. And peace.